So here we go for uh, paragraph 15b, section 15b, example 2. Here. And this is about a triangle, and this triangle is in space. We have three coordinates, so these are points in space. And when you uh, join them, they uh, become a triangle. And we want to find the area of the triangle. Now, I've drawn two vectors here, because we're going to use vector methods to find the area. And we'll say that this is point A. So I'm not really worried about the coordinates. Uh, this is just a schematic drawing. That's going to be point A. This is point B. And here we have point C. Which means that the vectors that we have are vector AB and vector AC. Yeah. And uh, AB is the vector B take A, which is 2 take take 1, 1 take 2, and 4 take 3. So that's the vector of 3, negative 1, 1. Likewise, the vector AC is then uh, given to be 1, 3, 4. That's in a similar way. Now, the area of a triangle is given to be one half AB and then the sine of theta in general. Here, we can find theta because it's the angle between the two vectors. And A and B are not uh, here, not vectors, but in our case, they are the length of AB and AC. So the area of our triangle is one half the length of AB, the length of AC, sine theta. Problem is we don't know what theta is, and uh, because we don't know, but um, we do know our vector theory. We know that this whole part is actually the vector product of AB and AC. So we can use the vector product instead and we don't need to know what theta is because the vector product will take care of it. So finding the vector product of AB and AC that's working out the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix and AB goes in the middle here, 3, negative 1, 1. And AC goes at the bottom, 1, 3, 4. And the top row is I, J, and K, the components of our uh, resulting vector. So cracking this determinant, it's I times the determinant of negative 1, 1, 3, 4. Take away J times the determinant of 3, 1, 1. 4 plus k times the determinant of 3, negative 1, 1, 3, which comes down to negative 1 times 4, negative 4, take 3, negative 7i, 12, take 1 is 11 with a negative up front, negative 11j, 9, take a negative 1 is 10, k. So here we have the vector negative 7, negative 11, 10. So the area of the triangle is 1 half times the length of that vector, which is 49 plus 1 to 1 plus 100. So it's 1 half of the root of 270 units squared. Now suppose we do want to use sine theta and we don't want to use the vector product. We can do that, but then we will have to find theta first. To do that you need the cosine rule and the cosine rule um, led to this following equation here, which says that the in product of AB 
and AC. The length of that is AB, the length of AB times the length of AC cosine theta. Now I set the, the length of the in product, which is a bit silly because the in product is of course a scalar, it's a scalar product, so we just need that number. So I'm actually going to wipe that out again. This is it, that's the number. And these are numbers because they're length and cosine theta is also a number. So the cosine of theta is now the in product which is, if we do uh, the product of our, our two vectors, which is up here, 3 times 1 is 3, plus negative 3, plus 4. 3 take 3 plus 4. Divided by the length of AB, 9, 10, 11, the root of 11, multiplied by the length of AC, which is 1, and 9 is 10, and 16 is 26. So simplify that. The cosine of theta is 4 over the root of 286. Now we could work out theta, but suppose this is a paper 1 and you can't use your calculator. Then we can use sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Hence, sine theta here is 1. Take away 16 over 286. That would be sine squared theta. Which is 270 over 286. Hence, the sine of theta is the root of seven, 270 over 286. The root of 286. The area of the triangle is one half, and uh, let's go up there again, one half of AB and AC sine theta. Here it is. I need to move down again. One half of the length of AB, so that's the root of 11, times the root of 26, times the sine of theta, so that's the root of 270 over the root of 286. And this, of course, together was the root of 286. So this will cancel out, and it's the root of 270. Same answer.